What's up guys, it's FGN Nick here, and I'm going to teach you the basics of Windows 8 and how to use it effectively. So, you've bought Windows 8, and you're probably looking at this. Well, this here is what's known as the Metro Start menu. As you can see, in the top left corner, it says Start, just like the Windows 7 menu. And it has your username in the top right corner, also similar to Windows 7. As for navigation, the search bar is hidden, but if you start typing, you will see that it brings up the search bar. This brings me to my second point, the new navigation pane. As you can see, it gives a list of searches broken down into three categories, apps, settings, and files. These sections have a number beside them showing you how many results are in each category, which gives a nice cleaner way to search. Also, below the, these categories are all of the apps that you can search through. So, when you first boot up Windows 8, it will say, move your mouse into any corner but it doesn't tell you what any of these corners do. So first off is the bottom left corner, where the Windows 7 Start button used to be. If you put your mouse into that corner, then it will give you a thumbnail of your Start menu. Left click this thumbnail to get to your Start menu. The Start menu can be accessed in this way from any app that you might have open. Next up is the top left corner. This corner shows a thumbnail of the last app that you had open. If you move your cursor downwards, it will bring you to a panel of the recent apps that you had open. If you have more than 7 apps open, it will automatically close the last one on this list. You can also manually close apps by right-clicking their thumbnail, and then left-clicking close. Next, the right corners. Now I say this plural because both corners do exactly the same thing. To use these corners, put your cursor in the corner and then pull up or down respectively with your cursor. This panel will give you five options, Search, Share, Start, Devices, and Settings. In the Settings panel, we can see the name of the app that you are configuring. Below that will be a list of options for that app. Below these settings for that one app will be Wi-Fi networks, audio level, brightness level, notification settings, power options, and language settings. Below these is an option to change PC settings. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Windows 8 in a nutshell. Subscribe for more and comment if you have any questions. This is FGN Nick and I'm signing up.